Hi, it's Bridget. It's my pleasure to record for you a meditation a visualization to help you to connect with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. I hope you enjoy this connection experience. Give yourself the opportunity to fully receive this by making sure you're not driving, you're not distracted, you're not in a loud place. Really kind of create a little bit of space for yourself, whether you're sitting out in your car at lunchtime at work or whether you're cozied up in your favorite chair in the living room. Give yourself some time to feel this energy. All right, so we're treating this as a meditation, so begin by noticing the rhythm of your breath. Give yourself permission to feel into the air as it's coming into the body, and as you're exhaling out, allow the release of any tension, any pent up stuck energy inside that chest and that heart chakra just let it out as you breathe in with intention to feel the air the element of life the source of life itself coming into the body cleaning it out clearing out your mind and your thoughts so you can be in flow and alignment with this connection as you exhale out opening the heart and releasing stuck energy, releasing any tensions that might be in the physical body or in the energetic body, allowing the air to breathe in and exhale out in a rhythm that is most comfortable for you at this moment in time. Give your physical body permission to be present and experience the positive energy of this connection relaxed and comfortable at this time. Oh, I know I can feel the anticipation energy, the excitement energy, that's quite natural, but allow the physical body to be soothed and comforted in this sacred space for you, for connection with Marilyn Monroe. All right, so let's invite her energy in. Close your eyes gently if you haven't done so already and feel the energy vibration of just a warm, bubbly energy, like the bubbles on the top of a champagne glass, just filled with that little bit of mist coming off the top of the bottle. Feel the bubbles, the bubbly energy of bubbly. Feel the light crystal of the glass reflecting on the lights around us. Imagine as though we are sitting outside on a veranda, a beautiful Mexican tiled mosaic veranda and looking out upon the beautiful light blue sky with fluffy little clouds like cotton candy and feeling the energy of a little bit of a wind and hearing it just a tiny bit as it moves those tree branches nearby. As we are seated out on this veranda, we look out and we notice there's actually a pool area here. Oh, doesn't that look lovely and nice? Oh, indeed it does. And you notice the reflection of the the pool is such a light blue, you wonder, is it the sky that's reflecting on the pool or is it the pool reflecting on the sky? Oh, it does not matter, not one single bit. Here she comes now, Ms. Marilyn Monroe coming out dressed in white. She's got a beautiful white sleeveless top on and it has a little bit of a neck, just a tiny little bit of a neck on it and it's fitted and then she has some white pedal pusher type pants on and she comes out with bare feet and she's carrying something that looks like a bowl. It's either strawberries, some kind of berries. There's little berries in here for us to snack on and she sets it onto the table. And the bowl is like a wooden bowl. It is a, a bowl made of wood that has been carved. And she says, oh, you like it? I got it in Mexico. And she sets it down on this little table, this little bistro patio table. And we're relaxed and sitting in, in these chairs that have kind of this light blue, almost turquoise, not quite turquoise, more of a seafoam blue cushion in them. And I look at her and I notice there's like a pillow behind her that's like a striped and it's like a kind of an ivory cream color pillow and it's got some stripes on it, like thin stripes, like um, some reds, some uh, green, some orange, some yellow, and a little bit of the same kind of blue that's on the cushions behind us. On the chairs and so I noticed that as well and so, so she reaches forward and she has this bracelet on and I'm looking at this bracelet I'm like oh is it a charm bracelet she says yes 
Thank you. And she kind of moves it around and it feels like something fancy like Tiffany's or Chanel or such. Like she likes the pretty things. She says, I like things that sparkle. The things that <laughs> I like the things that are pretty, the things that are sparkle. But it doesn't feel like she's materialistic at all. It just feels like she's showing off this beautiful little charm bracelet. And then she kind of sits back and actually, wow, Marilyn, I have never seen you with a cigarette. And I see a little ashtray right here and she literally picks up like a cigarette and she has just a little bit of it. And she says, oh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it just relaxes me. It just makes me just stop and think, you know, just oh, think about the air as it's floating by. You know, no one really pays attention to it. The air is just passing by and we don't really notice any of it. We just don't even pay attention. We don't even give a care to it, but it, it's always there. It's always there. We just expect it, expect it to just be there. And, you know, in Los Angeles, there is so much, so much about the air quality. As time goes on, I know in your generational time, there is much more of an issue with that. However, we did notice that there were times when it was quite uh, misty. I know you would say foggy, but it was like we were fogged out. But we, you know, really didn't understand how how dramatic the drama of that, and which now you do, of course, she says. Now you do. You pay attention to such things. But for me, I just, oh, I look at the sky and I just think about how those clouds choose what they choose you know how to form into shapes how do they choose that they just seem to change so easily you know just to move from one place to another without a care in the world wouldn't it be nice if we were like clouds what do you think do you feel like a cloud How do you feel about the sky, the energy of it? It certainly does have kind of a mystique, doesn't it? It's not just simply the color and how beautiful it is, but it's it's the motion. And yet there is there isn't any, actually. You know, you can't see the air, but the air is what causes the motion. But the air doesn't get credit for that. Isn't that sad? That's sort of sad, really. Do you think the air knows that that's its job? Like that's its purpose is to help the clouds to do whatever they need to do. Do you think the air knows? What do you think? How do you feel about that? Oh, I know things so simple. Things that are so simple. This is really what life is about. And now I don't see a cigarette anymore for those of you who are listening and connecting into this visualization with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. There's no cigarette now. It just looks like it's off to the side in a white, kind of a whitish gray ashtray, old school. It's just kind of sitting off to the side and it's kind of burning. It's like she lost interest in it. What is it that you dream about? Oh, I know, when you think of me, you think of all of these dreams lost. Almost a sense of hopelessness, really. I know, I know it, I know you feel it. I know, I know it sneaks in to your heart. But please don't worry. Don't you waste any time thinking of me in this light. Know that I am so contented and I have found my blissful state. <laughs> and even though my life seems to be a tragedy, when you read about it and look at it, it looks like it was just a terrain wreck. Please know that that's not at all how I see any of it. It all serves a purpose after all, even the pain, the despair, the depths of loneliness. It all serves a purpose. There is a greater purpose to all of it. You'll understand. You'll understand when you are like me. You'll understand. When you feel me, do you really feel all that drama? No, of course you don't. Silly, can you feel? <laughs> feel in your heart. Allow me to awaken and to let those bubbles 
come up in that heart for you. Let your heart feel the gentle, joyful connection of energy that is truly love. This is love beyond all measure. This is the freedom that comes in love and connection. And if I can help you to do that, so be it. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Perhaps that is my greatest legacy after all. Not simply to entertain, but to make your heart smile. Even in spirit, in the afterlife, with our connection heart to heart, I can feel your heart smiling and those bubbles as they tickle the nose and increase the energy feeling, the vibration of your senses and they tickle your nose and open your mind to thoughts that are beyond compare to allow you the freedom of your expression so that you can be more happy, more fulfilled and more complete. That is the dreamiest dream. That is the desire. Oh, I know, I know. And through me, don't be sad for me. Don't look at my life as a tragedy. Please don't be disappointed. Feel into your own life and know that I found happiness in the tiniest of the bubbles of the moment. I did feel, I did feel good. I did have times and moments where I felt my dreams were true. I felt so much appreciation for all that was offered to me and opportunity was such a gift. And I, I know it, I know it so much, so much. And I appreciate all of that. Please know that. What do you appreciate about your life? Hmm? What is it? Tell me, tell me what you appreciate. What do you appreciate in those little moments, those tiny little bubble moments? What do you appreciate? Oh, yes, I think it would be a wonderful opportunity to journal or to jot down some things, to put pen to paper and to make notes of things as they come up for you, as they bubble up for you. As you look at the sky and you dream and you notice the energy of the flow of the air, even though you can't see it. You see the results of its efforts, don't you? You see what it does, what it accomplishes with those clouds, how it helps so much. Writing helps too. That's what I found. I would recommend it for you as well. Ah, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. And dip your feet in the pool if you choose to. I'm just going to sit here and relax and enjoy the beautiful sky and the heart warming bubbles that I can feel for you here right now in this dreamy dream place. <laughs> Stay as long as you like. Stay as long as you like. And as we breathe in and exhale out, I'm giving Marilyn the loving energy of thankfulness. Thank you, thank you, and the gratitude for our connection with her. And as she mentioned, you are invited to stay as long as you like and linger by the pool on this beautiful back patio area, this gorgeous place for you to come and visit with Ms. Marilyn anytime you choose. Thank you so much for listening to this meditation audio visualization to help you to connect with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. It's important after any meditation or visualization experience that you have with connection that you make sure you're considered grounded, which means get back in your body. When it's time to be done, get home, get back to your body, feel your feet on the earth, feel the energy of your physical body, even maybe touch your knees, squeeze your knees, squeeze your elbows, reach your arms up and stretch. Bring your hands to the ground, feel the ground, even if you have to crouch down, feel the earth and feel your physical body and your life now. And if you need to state your name so that you feel a full on spirit, body, mind, heart and soul connected. This is Bridget. I hope you've enjoyed this incredible connection with Ms. Marilyn Monroe.